Thank you for taking the time to join us today. This presentation is about MBA for Working Professionals program with a short overview of the program itself, but focusing mostly on application tips to help your application be more successful through the admissions process. Asia School of Business was founded in 2015 by the Central Bank of Malaysia Bank Negara in partnership with MIT Sloan in the U.S. The purpose is to create a world-class business school in Asia to help supply talent for tomorrow. Before we go any further, it might be a good idea to look at both MBA programs that Asia School of Business offers. Our MBA for Full-Time Residency program was the first MBA program launched in 2016. This focuses towards students who wish to pursue their studies full-time and possibly change careers upon graduation. Our MBA for Working Professionals program is our most recently launched program, sitting our first cohort in August 2019. This is focused towards students who already are employed full-time love the current career path, and simply wish to accelerate the career progression. Students from both programs graduate with a Master's of Business Administration degree, and when you look at degrees, it's important to find the one that's the right fit for you. This particular presentation is focused on the MBA for Working Professionals program. At a quick glance, the MBA for Working Professionals program takes approximately 22 months to complete, with students coming to campus approximately once every six weeks to spend an intense week on campus studying. This means that students will need to take approximately 19 weeks out of the office or approximately eight to nine weeks a year out of the office. We have completely redesigned our signature action learning program for the working professionals. Instead of teams of students spending approximately four to five weeks per semester in a company completing a project, our MBA for working professional students work closely with their own organizations selecting a project within their company that they would like to complete with the full support of our Asia School of Business faculty and business coaches. During this program, students also spend four weeks at MIT Sloan pursuing their studies, and as a result, in addition to graduating with their MBA from Asia School of Business, also graduate with a certificate from MIT Sloan and are considered MIT Sloan affiliated alumni in addition to ASB alumni. This slide is to provide an illustrative example of what an MBA for Working Professionals schedule might look like. Because approximately 50% of our classes are taught by MIT faculty, we are still working on finalizing the calendar for the upcoming academic year. We will provide this as soon as it becomes available. I'm often asked what a typical class week looks like. The above is an illustrative example of what a week might look like while you're on campus. This is an illustrative example of what time away from school might look like. Our program is designed for students to take from anywhere in the world as long as they are able to fly to Kuala Lumpur at least once every six weeks for class. For our first cohort, we intentionally kept the class small to allow us to adjust and improve as we went through the program. This cohort has 18 students coming from five different countries. Two of our Malaysian students even commute from Mexico. Here are a few profiles of our students. We are seeking diversity in the cohort from students who have built their own successful businesses to students in both larger and smaller corporations, as well as multinational and family-owned businesses. The more diverse experience we can bring together in one cohort, the better learning environment we can build for our students. These are two more sample profiles from our current MBA for Working Professionals program. Now to the part that is probably of most interest to you, application tips for the MBA for Working Professionals program. Please note there are substantial differences in the advice that's given for the MBA for Working Professionals versus the MBA for Full-Time Residency program. In theory, ASB has the same admissions criteria for both the MBA for Working Professionals and the MBA for Full-Time Residency program. However, in the MBA for Working Professionals program, your background and work experience are looked at far more closely. If for any reason your application is not successful, many times it's because we were looking for stronger work experience. The admissions process is very straightforward, though there will be periods of time when you don't hear from us and wonder what's happening with your application. During the first step, you complete your application and submit. Please plan to take some time through this step as you'll want to think through your essays carefully before hitting submit, and it might also take your recommenders some time to complete the recommendation letters. We use a GMAC standard recommendation form, which allows you to use the same letter for different programs. If you have a choice between a perfect application and an almost perfect application, it's better to apply early as there's less competition for more seats. Also very important, 
When you're completing your application, please use your work email address. The second step is the evaluation of your application. Once you submit your application, our admissions team reviews your file to ensure all the documents needed for proper evaluation are included in the app. If you have forgotten something, this is when the admissions team will reach out to you and ask you to submit the document. Once this part is complete, your file is considered completed and is assigned to a member of the application committee to read. The third step is after your file is read, as long as we believe you are academically strong enough to complete the program, then you'll be invited to be interviewed. In our MBA for Working Professionals program, we try to interview as many applicants as we can because we realize that you're more than just the documents submitted and realize you may shine more in person than on paper. In addition, we use the interview to assess your English fluency. The fourth step is after all the interviews are complete, our admissions committee meets together to decide on all the candidates who have applied for this particular round. The admissions committee is comprised of around 10 of our senior staff and faculty. After all the decisions are made, we will reach out to you and communicate your decision. This year, we're excited to announce that we are offering two very select scholarships for the MBA for Working Professionals. The two scholarships are each 40% tuition, which is spread across five semesters. There will be a separate process for applying that will be announced shortly. All applications for scholarship are due prior to round three, where all decisions will be made. When you complete your application, you'll need to upload the following items. A cover letter, your current resume, and this should be no more than two pages in length and should list your work experience in reverse chronological order. Your transcripts and degree certifications. It's okay if you use unofficial transcripts and copies of your degree certificates at this point. If your application is successful, we will ask you to submit the official copies, which is required for MQA certification. Your test scores, if they're applicable, and let's discuss the test scores in a few slides. Your essay, your video submission, and two letters of recommendation. For everyone, I would recommend reading an interview with our Executive Director of Admissions, Emily Priest. This may help you as you think through writing out your application. And one piece of advice, please read and follow the directions in the application. This is actually an important element that's evaluated, and our faculty are often the first to point out when a candidate does not follow directions. Your cover letter and essay. This is one of the key areas where the admissions committee gets to know you better. As you start to write these, please be authentic as we want to get to know you through both of these documents. A word of advice. I've seen applicants submit essays that are only 200 words in length. I strongly recommend you use most of your 500 words when sharing your story. While I realize that some candidates are more introvert and succinct than others, a very short cover letter and essay is not as effective as conveying your story and sharing who you really are. Ah, the video. This is one area of the application where the MBA for full-time residency students and the MBA for working professionals program differs. For MBA for working professionals, this is usually one area in the application that causes candidates stress. We do not want this to be the case. We know that not everyone has worked with video before, and we also know that not everyone has the same time to prepare. Please, please do not pay anyone to help you complete your video. What we care about is what you say. We care that you've taken the time to think through your two-minute introduction to ASB. Video production is a bonus. If you happen to be good at it and wish to submit your video for an Academy Award, we will thoroughly enjoy seeing your creativity. If you've never crafted a video before, please do not be intimidated. You're invited to use a tripod or lean your camera against a stack of books so that it's stable and doesn't shake. This is perfectly acceptable. Your sitting or standing in one location is also perfectly acceptable. One big favor, though, do check that we can actually see you and hear you in the video. Also, double check that there is not a loud noise or distracting sound in the background that would prevent us from hearing what you say. Most important, please have fun with this and don't let it cause you stress. Test scores are another area where the MBA for Working Professionals is different than the MBA for Full-Time Residency program. There is a very strong correlation that's been found between age and GMAT scores and it doesn't go in the direction that those of us with several years' work experience would hope. If you've taken the GMAT or GRE, please share with us your scores, as this will be an extra bonus to help us when evaluating your application for your quantitative capability. If you have not taken either of these exams, it usually takes about four months to thoroughly prepare, and it costs a lot of money between prep courses and the exam itself. And after all of this hard work that you put in and all of the cost, 
It effectively tells us how amazing or unamazing you are at taking a test. We do not want you to go through the stress or cost. Instead, on the next slide, we'll share with you some advice for preparing for the quantitative part of the program. The one thing that the GMAT and the GRE are effective at is forcing you to review your quantitative skills. Many of the quantitative skills you need in the MBA for Working Professionals program may very easily be skills you have not used since undergraduate or even secondary studies. Because this program is designed in collaboration with MIT, and half our faculty who teach in the program are from MIT, there are very strong expectations that every student is comfortable in quantitative skills. It's also a skill set that will be used continuously throughout the program. So instead of preparing for the GMAT GRE as an exam, please take the time you would have spent preparing for the test and instead prepare for the quantitative requirement of the program. Above is the sample test you can take, along with the sample answer key. And unless you are an engineer that is actively working in engineering, chances are very high you'll need to spend uh, some time reviewing algebra, calculus, probability, and statistics. The quickest way to come up to speed is to buy a GMAT math prep book and work your way through it. Once you are able to comfortably complete all of the problems in the math review set, you should be ready for the quantitative section of this program. We recommend either the Kaplan math review or the Manhattan GMAT series. The only book we do not recommend is a Princeton review as the Princeton Review is more targeted at teaching you how to take an exam rather than truly understanding the mathematics. Now, when we ask you to complete the mathematics, we are not asking you to complete this as a timed exam. As long as you are comfortable working your way through and understand the problems in the math review section, you should be good to go in the program. The advice for letters of recommendation is the same regardless of whether you are applying to the MBA for Working Professionals or the MBA for Full-Time Residency Program. The purpose of the letters of recommendation is so we get to know you better through the people you work with. They can speak to your strengths and opportunities for development. Don't worry, we're not seeking a perfect person. If you're perfect already, then you probably cannot learn much from the MBA. Just a reminder, it's far better to select a recommender that knows you well rather than someone with a prestigious title who doesn't know very much about you. Finally, we come to the English proficiency section of the application. We'll be reading your application for proof of English proficiency, as well as interviewing you to assess this. If we have any questions, we'll ask you to complete one of the many English proficiency exams. However, if you're an international and did not receive your undergraduate education in English, you will be required to submit an exam score. You do not have to complete this at the time of the application, as we can still assess your application without the scores. Once you submit your application, please take the time to register and complete the proficiency exam so that if admitted, it's easier for us to help you process your Malaysian student pass. We certainly do not expect this presentation to answer all of your questions, and we are here to help you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out and we'll try to respond as soon as we can. We know the application process is never fun, but do hope it can be a pleasant experience for you as well as a chance for you to get to know both ASB and the MBA for Working Professionals program better. Thank you very much for your time, and we hope we have the privilege to speak with you soon.